I do say, I'll go no more roving with you, fair maid. <laughs> Until another day. <laughs> I sure hope this log is big enough. Well, it sure is heavy enough. And that's for you up there. Yeah, you, I'm talking to you. If you don't pitch in, no work, no bananas. You got that? All right, mates, let's shove off. What's that? Huh. Something brass I want. Bertie, you shouldn't have touched that. Why not? Oh, that is a Jacob staff. A what? What's a Jacob staff? It's a navigating instrument, Ernie Lad. Me thinks it's going to navigate us to a king's ransom. Jeremiah, what are you talking about? Frederick, lad, you're an intelligent boy. Now, if you was a pirate, how would you hide your treasure on a deserted island? Very treasure. You know how you do it? By leaving a pointer with secret bearings. What bearings? Uh-huh. That's a good question, Freddy. What bearings? Shouldn't be too difficult to figure out, though. Because all we need is time. We got plenty of that. <laughs> Which bird do you think it was? Let me think. You up there. Come on. Help. Concentrate. Uh, Lafitte. There was a pirate, Jean Lafitte. And there's a story that old Jean Lafitte left as a key to where his treasure is hid a Jacob staff. support. I tell you, Maxwell, the people of New Orleans are as American as those of New York. You've forgotten, Governor. New York was more Tory than Patriot. But we're all of us for trade. And New Orleans is the southern key to American commerce. Lafitte! Jean Lafitte! Forgive me for intruding, Governor Claiborne. I have come to place at your disposal, my men, my ships and my guns. Guards! Guards! Well, now that I have your attention, my dear sir, perhaps you will be kind enough to listen to my proposal. How dare you? How dare you come into my private quarters with your arrogant offer? Oh, arrogant. 
Those who have joined me are seafaring men who offer themselves, as I do, to their adopted country, the United States of America. We are willing to fight to the death defending her. You believe for one minute, should I consider trusting you, that your pirate band could help us in any way? The British would like us to help them. Why? Enough to offer us a bribe of power and riches if we join their forces in attacking New Orleans. Attack New Orleans? The British? Ah, it's preposterous. Even Andrew Jackson won't be able to withstand them without men and guns. Governor, I have a thousand trained fighters and nine ships with cannon under my command. I have hundreds of muskets and a treasure in jewels worth millions. Buried near a Jacob's staff just like that one. Even if I believe that. Jackson would never consider using you as mercenary. Ask him. I don't have to ask him. Call the city guards, Maxwell. Captain, let's get out of here. This rough old bantam cock is a coward and a blockhead. Claiborne, don't be a fool. All I ask is a pardon for myself and my men, a chance to serve the United States. What have you got to lose? My self-respect, sir. Seize them! Governor, you should better train your men. You dropped your guard, sir. With the wrist, with the wrist. <laughs> Dominique, may I assist you? A blade! I need a blade! You must coordinate, sir, really. Foot and arm. Foot and arm. Hello? Captain, these sea cows don't know the hilt for the point! Can't write your mother about this. Ready to leave? There you are! defeats offer. Now will you trust my word? I've never met a Tory I could trust, especially an American one like you. Does Lafitte suspect me? I don't know. He doesn't tell me everything. It's just as well. Claiborne was lying. About what? Jackson is willing to meet with Lafitte and accept his offer. Claiborne resents the pirate, but His Majesty's government wants Lafitte knows what he's worth and is willing to pay for it. Well, you don't have to work. I sure ain't going to tell Lafitte that Jackson wants it. Work on him, Gamby. See to it he goes to the British. And your fortune is assured. I'll try. But in case he just ain't willing to listen and decides to give them arms to Jackson, he'd better let the British know the location of the island where he's got him hidden. Is the location of the treasure marked? No, just the island. What happened? You know, with swords like that, I think New Orleans needs us. Ja, <laughs> ja, what happened? Claiborne rejected our offer. I warned you, Claiborne wouldn't listen. All right, come on, back to the ship. More of our unworthy opponents. We'll stay here till they go back to bed. Claiborne is a politician. He's not a soldier. He's not like Jackson. Aye, but Jackson's old and sick from what they say. He's all but given up. All the more reason he should welcome the offer of our guns. Captain, it's a losing battle. Let's go with the British. Oh, Gamby. 
This is still a new country, with new hopes, new ideas, and men to carry them through. We sail for the island tonight. You're not going to leave me behind for four months this time. I'm going with you. It's a long, hard haul, Marie. Not a voyage for a woman. Oh, don't sing me that song. I'm not some flouncy belle from Royal Street. You can say that again. Oh, shut <laughs> up, you octopus. You're not going to leave me behind. I'm going with you. Marie, I think you're getting too thin. You could use a little more flesh on those delightful bones of yours. You stay behind and eat more gumbo, huh? Yes, ma'am. Uh... Well, I think I hate you. I despise you. I have a stone wakes your ship into a thousand little pieces and the shark leaves the rest of it. I told you in a little while. Wish Jeremiah had never given you that book. I'm gonna figure it out. I've got to. Fred, how can you figure it out? Jeremiah couldn't do it in practically two months. He's not as patient as I am. You mean he's not as stubborn? It's got something to do with the path of the sun. I think I'm beginning to get this. Well, feet's a treasure. There's no such thing. I'm going fishing. you managed to get aboard? Hmm? She sneaked across the red lines. It is her, isn't it? The banker's daughter. Must we hate bankers? That is why you did not want me to come aboard. You did not want me to see this shrine to her memory. Marie. It has nothing to do with the paint. Well, I am here now, and there is nothing you can do about it. We can throw her to the sharks? They would never touch me. I have the powers of a witch, didn't you know? Mm. I'm a devil of a temper. Dominic, find suitable quarters for this vixen. Lock her in. Come on, wench. Look, Jean. Oh, no, you don't. You let go of me, you scoundrel, you walkers. Jean. Jean, please. Oh, I love you. It'll keep. <laughs> figured it out. I've really done it this time. Fred, boy, we have worked out every possible set of bearings. And my calluses are getting calluses on the calluses from all the digging. But this could be it. It works out perfect. Then we have better things to do with our time than go digging after something that probably doesn't even exist. But, Papa, just one more time. I've worked out the bearings. All right. Will you check over my figures? Tonight after supper. We'll go looking tomorrow. And this time, we might find it. I'm sure of it. <laughs>
come to your right about three steps. Oh, right there. All right, Ernie, you come to your right about two steps. Go. Right there. That should be it. This has got to be it, Papa. They're forming an isosceles triangle. A what? An isosceles triangle. Well, I don't know about that, Jeremiah. Uh, oh, of course I do. I saw, of course, it's, uh, uh, well, it's, uh... What we're looking for should be in that rocky outcropping right behind Ernie's head. Just like any other place. No, there is something. Fred, I think you're right. It looks like a cave. A cave? By the bleaching saints, it's a cave. Yeah. Yeah. Look out. Careful. Uh... We'll need a light or something. Hey, Carl, we'd be in luck. Here's what we need. Some old torches. from a dozen different nations. So it's free booty, Missy, at salvage. And that belongs to what? Him who claims it. Hey, we can keep all of this? Every bit of it, lad. Oh, Carl, that means that we'll have to divide this between us. Now, I figure maybe halfway down the middle, half for you folk, half for me, all right? <laughs> well, maybe we can make some other arrangement. I have to think on that. I'm showing the feet. <laughs> Hey, oh, we're gonna be rich. Rich, lad. Rich. We gonna be rich. Where are we gonna spend it, Jeremiah? <laughs> Blast me, John. I get my hands on that sneaking, traitorous devil. I'll cut him down like so much more. We have to find out who he is first. See if he didn't get his hands on the scroll. Aye. Except for two aboard this ship. Could be any one of these man jacks. Whatever they were before, they found a haven in the sea marshes of the Barataria. Men of many races, many tongues. They had one thing in common, like you, like me. They had no flag, no nationality. I want them to become American. All but one, Captain. All but one. We should reach the island by tomorrow. Keep a watchful eye out for whoever was in here. Oh, Jean, won't you take me to New Orleans with you? Anything, my fair lady. Alas, there, Jean Lafitte, this treasure's mine. Beard, you dirty devil. 
this time you've gone too far. I'll cut ye up in the fish bait. Lay to! No, you might hurt yourself. Helga, these things are so dull they couldn't slice a banana. <laughs> this is your downfall, Blackbeard. Ha! Oh, Jean! Save me. Don't fret, my fair lady. I'll get that rascal yet. What's your problem? What happened? Fred! Fred, here, what is the wee babe? Fred? Are you sure you're all right? Tell me what happened, lad. Well, me and Fred were playing pirates, and I chased him way back in the case. We started choking. You feel better, Frederick? Must be some volcano gas that's seeping in back there. Volcano gas? Well, it's just nature's way of blowing off steam, I reckon. But it kills you dead if you breathe enough of it. And if you put a fire to it, I mean, it'll blow up like a bomb. That's close. From now on, if you want to do any pirate acting, you do it outside that back cave. Me thinks old, old Lafitte put a blinking curse on his treasure. Fred, I'm sick of pirates. Baloche! See the Marie! Aye, Captain. They're coupé! Aye, Captain! Look to the longboat. It leaks like a sieve. Aye, aye, sir. Dominique, come with me. Camby, set up camp here. Don't you think I'd better come along with you, Captain? Might be some hostile natives. I chose this island because it was deserted, Camby. And I want you to stay here. Dominique and I will look for the Jacob step. Come with me. I'm gonna follow.
it, I'm sure of it. Tree formation, this rock, Jacob's staff should be just about here. Someone's coming. Just want to ask you a few questions. Who are you and how'd you get here? Those are the questions I wanted to ask you. Supposing you start first, then it'll be my turn. Papa! Papa! <laughs> the chimp was with the boys. Something must be wrong. Easy now, lad. Easy. We're not going to hurt you. I promise. Now, where's your father, and what are you doing on this island, huh? All right, we'll tell you. I said we'll tell you. You'd run into trouble, Captain. And I, I, I heard all the noise and the ruckus, and I come to help you. Thank you. I admire a worthy opponent, my friend. A good rough and tumble is grist for the soul. Don't you agree? I suppose so, but who are you, and why did you attack my sons? I'll answer those questions in a moment. Gamby, put up your sword. Gamby! Get off me, you old tub of lard! Gamby! <laughs> you son of a sea cook! Jeremiah Word! Ha <laughs> 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 you old son of a <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, me and him. Hey, we was real old shipmates together, huh? Uh, Wasn't we? Yeah. Yeah. We served a lot of time together. Served under John Paul Jones. I have not yet begun to fight. Remember that? I aboard the uh, Paul Holmes uh, uh, we, 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 we. There we was, off the coast of Flamborough, England. Here come the British frigate, Sarah Peace. Remember that? Yeah. Huh? I remember. Oh, I got so carried away. I plum forgot. Hey, why don't you meet my friend Carl Robinson and then be his two lads? Well, now, it's, it's a real pleasure. A real pleasure. Uh, this is my shipmate here, Dominic Yu. <laughs> my skipper, Captain Jean Lafitte. Jean Lafitte? Wow. Wow. I'm delighted to meet a man of such strength and resourcefulness. Tell me, how long have you been castaways? Almost a year now. A year? It's incredible. 
Well, how fortunate that Providence has allowed us to end your exile. And allowed us to find what I'm sure you're here on the island looking for. Push off, look out, Dominic. Lottie, may I present Captain Jean Lafitte, Captain Lafitte, my wife, Lottie Robinson. Please excuse me for staring, Madam Miss Justice. Well, you remind me of someone I once knew. The captain has returned to the island to pick up the arms and treasure he left here three years ago. Yes, I have, and uh, then we're all going to sail back to New Orleans together. Oh, how wonderful. Well, New Orleans may not be everything we hoped for. There's a war going on. I plan to give the store of arms to Andrew Jackson for defense of the city. We've certainly had the wrong impression of you, Captain Lafitte. Well, I'm afraid the stories that cling to me are very much my undoing. When would you like to go to the treasure cave, Captain? At your convenience. Now? Fine. I'll just see to my other men. Madam, if you'll excuse me. It's like. To tell you the truth, I haven't thought much about it, but we left Europe to escape oppression, to live free from kings like George III. That's who the colonists are fighting. Perhaps they'll be the kind of people with whom we can live. <laughs> that smells good. <laughs> you know, I can't believe it hardly. I mean, I can't believe it hardly at all. That's what? Well, that that there's more of you. I mean, that, that they ain't all gone yet. The girls in Bourbon Street? <laughs> the girls. There are more than ever before. Ah, ah. But uh, are, are they as pretty as you? Prettier. Much prettier. Ah, <laughs> thank heaven for that. You know, you spend seven years on this forsaken split of land. And, uh, well, you know, a man kind of thinks that Maybe he's missed it all. <laughs> you know what I mean? And the uh, Robinson family, they have been here seven years too? Oh, the Robinsons? No, no, no. The Robinsons, they've only been here only a year. Even a year? How horrible. Especially for a woman. How could she possibly manage? Oh, she ain't done too bad. No, no. Miss Robinson is a lady of great courage. And you'd have to look a long way before you found someone as pretty as Lottie Robinson. So? Yes, ma'am. Jeremiah, yeah, let's go get your gear. <laughs> that is, if you still want to sail. Oh, hi. I've been waiting to sail for seven years. It's your nice feet, you man. You stay here till the captain comes for you. Heave to, old mate. Heave to. Uh, no. What's the matter? We're not going to get you here. We ain't? Why not? Shipmate, I want you to take me where the treasure's buried. Wait a minute. Wait. You mean you want me to take you there without Lafitte? Ah, you thick-headed tarball. You got a chance to save the ruddy colonies you have. I does? Save the colonies? Well, how can I do that? Lafitte says he's going to give them arms to Jackson. Well, the truth is he's planning on turning them over to the British in return for land and power after the war is won. He can't do that. Why, he'd be French and he'd be American. Men like him don't know no loyalty to person or country. He's a treacherous cutthroat, just like they say. I ain't going to let our old skipper John Paul down. No siree, I ain't. Are all them patriots that fought for liberty. <laughs> hey, Gamby, all them patriots, huh? <laughs> you forget this old Jeremiah you're talking at. Now, what is in it for you? <laughs> <laughs> well, now, I, I should have known I couldn't fool an old shipmate <laughs> like you. You can't play with pitch and not get tarry. <laughs> That's good, ain't it? <laughs> And for me, it'll be the same as for you. A fair split. 
A fair split? Uh, you mean like the others? No less? No less. You got me word on it. Hmm. I'll get me flipped. <laughs> I'll get me flipped. <laughs> no less. <laughs> That's all there be. Take a look around. Uh, that's all there is. That's all there be. Gamby, don't let him miss it. Please, that's me best stuff, Gamby. There ain't no more. Gamby. There ain't no more here. This is what I said. Take us to the gold. I don't think I remember I find it. I can't remember. You'll remember. Uh, I said, and you'll sir. find it. I'll remember and I'll find it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Robertson, you're a rare commodity these days. How's that? You're an honest man. I'd like to believe I could return that compliment, Captain. What I told you was the truth. The war has been going very badly. The British have marched on Washington. Aye, we've heard that Dolly Madison took the president's portrait from the East Room of the White House and ran. This unexpected gift to Andrew Jackson could make the difference in the Battle of New Orleans. Perhaps the difference in the war itself. But Captain, I'm not an American. You could be, Mr. Roberts. You could be a part of the most glorious young nation in the world. A nation of free men working together for peace and prosperity. Well, I've learned to cherish freedom, especially since we've lived on this island. And you can well appreciate the critical importance of getting these arms back to Andrew Jackson. Hmm? But let's take one night to celebrate, shall we? Now remember, Marie, I expect you to behave like a lady. May we come in? Of course, Captain. Lottie? Mr. and Mrs. Robinson, may I present uh, Marika? How do you do? How do you do? Bonjour. And Madame, this is for you. Thank you. It's beautiful. And Helga? This for you. Merci, monsieur. Is that right? That's not only right, it's perfect. I'm going to go try it on. Captain. I'm going to see what the trouble is. Excuse me. I'll give you a hand. Thank you. Won't you sit down, Manzo? You do not seem surprised, madame, at my being here. No. Captain Lafitte mentioned you to my husband. You're staring at me. Why? Lafitte. Jean speaks of you as if you were a princess. I'm certainly nothing of the sort. Still, it is the way he speaks of you. Since he has met you, he speaks of little else. Little else. I think you misunderstand. Captain Lafitte is very charming. Yes, I know, but you have a husband. And children. Do you think that would matter to Jean Lafitte if he wanted something? It matters very much to me. Tisotto <laughs> d'Ambois. You know what that means? Uh -uh. Well, it means I've got a little bird in the bush. And if you can guess how many little birds I've got in the bush, I'll give them all to you. Uh, three. Three. Well, that's close enough. Yeah. For cotton candy. Oh, boy. And I'll tell you what. If I can hit that tree over there, I'll give you that knife. Let's see you try. Wish me luck, my young man. Wish me luck. That was really something. <laughs> Captain Lafitte, can I be a pirate too someday? Ernie, Captain Lafitte's not a pirate. He's a privateer. Well, can I be one of those? Well, I'll tell you what, my little one. Someday, if the sea gets in your blood and you yearn for romance, be a pirate. Open up. Forget it. 
You'll be a blacksmith. Or you'll be a puppet master. Or you can be an oyster man. <laughs> Anything else. Go on, play. Think I forgot you, young lady, huh? And look what else I've got. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, this belonged to a very beautiful woman in New Orleans. I've never been to New Orleans. What? You've never been there, huh? Well, it's like no place you've ever been. It is full of warm summer breezes and gingerbread houses and street vendors with baskets of yellow oranges. <laughs> and you're going to be a very beautiful young woman someday, too. Oh, thank you. I've got to go show Aunt Lottie. You have a way with children. Do I? Well, it's too bad I don't have any on a more permanent basis, but you know how it is with men of fortune. I heard you were more of a businessman than a gentleman of fortune. Well, that's true. I do have a blacksmith shop on Bourbon Street, and I know a good smith when I see one. You are. I didn't start out to be a smith. I studied for the ministry. Come work with me when we get back. Maybe we'll go into business together. Perhaps. Perhaps there is a future for me in America. Papa? Shouldn't Jeremiah be at the celebration? Oh, Jeremiah, of course. Of all people, he should be here. If it weren't for him, we might not be alive and certainly wouldn't have found the treasure. Excuse me, Captain. I'll go get him. I'll see you at the feast. It's in that cave. Let's go. We can take him. Look, there's another one up there. <laughs> 